Time is not measured by the years that you live, but by the deeds that you do and the joy that you give. And each day as it comes brings a chance to each one to love to the fullest, leaving nothing undone. That would brighten the life or lighten the load of some weary traveler lost on life's road. So what does it matter how long we may live, if as long as we live, we unselfishly give? Oh, that is yeah. nice. Yeah. Really nice. Kind of a neat one. States. I have a whole lot of traveling yet to do. <laughs> whole lot of traveling. I also have a great love of travel and it will always be a goal of mine to be able to take at least one vacation a year. We also share a love of family. It's a huge um, sharing of, of value and of family um, and the traditions of family. Travel and family are both very important but my real focus is on our dreams. How do they differ from generation to generation? How do our opinions on dreams alter as we grow up? For me, I've always believed that dreams are a very big part of my life. And my early aspiration was to be a doctor who was an astronaut who painted the Mona Lisa in space. Some dreams change. And I had dreamed of being a dancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, had thought about being a nurse, typical women's jobs. Mm -hmm. that uh, I probably have changed my mind about that quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because now I would be uh, more interested in design and, and uh, uh, architecture and things mm. like that. Okay. I was going to have the most fascinating, prestigious job in the world. I was going to travel. Um, I was going to have two children, not one. Um, I was going to have a beautiful home in the countryside. Um, I was starting to look towards psychology as more of a consulting within business for personnel consulting, um, job satisfaction consulting, things like that. I'm not broken hearted that I'm not in space trying to paint the Mona Lisa because I've learned I can't paint and I can't do math. So I found different things that suit me better. And this was the general feeling between all of us. Because the things that I have now satisfy me. So even though I may not have gotten what I originally thought I wanted, I am content and happy with what I have now. So I'm not disappointed. If a little dreaming is dangerous, the cure is not to dream less, but to dream more, to dream all the time. I love this quote, and it's always been important to me because it signifies the importance of not limiting yourself to what other people say, but to keep your mind open to other dreams. Uh, dreams also have to be fairly realistic, uh, that uh, your abilities and how the direction your life is gone. You have to take those things into consideration and um, try to uh, broaden your dreams but as to what you can handle. If you mean by dreaming is looking forward and establish, setting things you want to do and accomplish 
I would say, yes, I agree with that. You should be dreaming and setting all those goals and moving forward constantly. But if you mean by dreaming of living in a fantasy, no. You know, setting unrealistic goals, no. Like if I said, well, you know, I think the only way I'll be happy is if I live in Paris next year. <laughs> and I'm totally disappointed when I don't. That's not healthy. To them, dreams are goals that we set for ourselves to further our growth. Without dreams, our growth comes to a halt. Throughout my childhood, I've always had big dreams, and I thought they should all come true. I would have been one of those people who said, I want to live in Paris tomorrow, and been upset when it didn't happen. But through this experience, I've grown up, or at least grown wiser, and learned that maybe my dreams shouldn't be dreams at all, but goals that I set for myself that take me a little bit further towards a person that I want to be. A person like my mom and my grandma. Three women that are not as different as you may think. They dream, they live, and they love. First off, it wasn't when I first knew I was pregnant. I remember driving to work thinking, boy, the rest of the world must be boring for everybody else because nobody has so much to be excited about as I do. I vividly remember the memory. I know right the corner I was sitting at. Um, I know the car I was driving. I mean, the whole thing. I remember thinking, why wasn't I bored before? I didn't have anything to be excited about. And all of a sudden, I had something to be excited about. It was a very vivid memory of that moment.